as the country is going through its yet another round of general elections, the question is being asked whether Prime Minister Narendra Modi should or shouldn't get another term. Well, some opposition leaders have called him a dictator. Maybe they're right, because he has been winning elections for about 26 years, never being defeated. So we should probably make him a dictator. Well, to be on a serious note, I think he's poised to win his third consecutive note term from Varanasi, which has uh, elected him for the last two terms, and he's likely to win by a very massive margin. So that shows that his popularity in the country. Not only is he winning, but his party, the Bharatiya Janata Party, according to all surveys, is also poised to get an absolute majority. Which means, you know, Mr. Prime Minister Modi is expected to get his third term in office only equaling what the first Prime Minister, Mr. Jawaharlal Nehru, had in the beginning of independence. Prime Minister Modi will come back because he has put the nation first and then, you know, he has pursued his policies vigorously. You know, when an opposition leader, Lalo Prasad Yadav, you know, criticized him saying that, oh, well, he doesn't have any kids, Modi turned it around saying that, look, 140 crore people, Indians are my people. So he called it Modi Ka Parivar, which became a slogan among his uh, you know, supporters. In fact, Modi has put the country first, taken country to great heights uh, in terms of the economy, taking it from, you know, from the 11th position about 10 years ago to third position. And he's also spoken of his ambition to make it the third largest economy in his next term.